Well, g'day, good morning. How you doing? How's it going? We're uh, got the day off today. Hey, day off. Well, it hasn't really been a whole, um, like we're working hard, are no, we? No, it's yeah. been great. We're in Carnarvon, um, and we're just about to check out the markets. You. And, and like almonds, yeah. uh, meal and stuff yeah. like that. I started in Indian cooking where I grew up was more lots of chili and lots of spices. Yeah. Options. Oh, so this is family, you yeah. know, influences. I've got my Nana's recipe book. Yes. I mean, I've even got messages in there. Mm. How Coconut pickle. <laughs> okay. Might have to be in the H&DC &D action to that one. We're actually filming a little travel cooking show. Okay. Yeah. So it's... Um, well, you've come to the right place. Uh, yeah. Apparently so. Spice peanut butter is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Next, though, here we go. Oh, where'd you get that up here from? Wait, Hayden, Hayden, how do you, how do you pronounce that? What, how do you say it? Poffages. <laughs> is that it? Poffages. Pop how do we, how do we say that word? No, oh, oh, right. we nailed it. First go. <laughs> Dan, what'd you just get? Hey, we got some flippers. Got your flippers. Do you think we look like tourists? I've got my, yeah, we do. <laughs> actually, oh, hold on, mate. Check, what, uh, what are you doing? I'm trying I to actually um, had to buy a, a leg rope and some wax as well for the board. Do you know how to apply that to a board though? Is this yeah. your first time? I bet you people have never seen this before. <laughs> Go for it. Actually, yeah, this is what wax looks like when you buy it. It doesn't just come like that on a board. It's called sex wax. Hey, so we're just about to get on the bus to go to the Carnarvon races on our day off. <laughs> we're off to the races, H. We are. <laughs> Mate, the uh, country races, the annual event here at Carnarvon. Kind of can't, Carnarvon. He still can't, he still can't say the word. Kitten's about to find his wife. Farmer wants a wife. <laughs> 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 Okay, the first race of the day is about to take off. We're both on number five weapon of war. Number five. Except Mick, I just lost my ticket. <laughs> Dropped it again. <laughs> it's in the middle of the track. Absolutely, Devo. The loving it in the members stand. Day two here in Carnarvon. Carnarvon. You can yes, say it now. Yes, I got it. You can Carnarvon. say it now. We're, uh, we're just about to start filming at Morel's for some awesome winter produce. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful plantation. You'll learn a lot about it, but essentially we're in a, a food bowl, tropical oasis, and there's plenty of quality ingredients for you to uh, experience. You. Not bad, it is, dude. Have you noticed how many lady beetles are around here, mate? Yeah, look at them. Where'd it go? It's oh, in there. there it Hello. It's got your name all over it, doesn't it, Dan? What do you call that? Cabo on the arrow. It's Italian uh, spinach. It's beautiful. Looks like hipster kale to it's me. Like white kale, yeah. Gorgeous though. People of Bondi will be going mental hey, right now. You can do a lot with that, sauteing it. You can, they actually, because of the because of the lack of moisture, they come out some of the best kale chips you will come across. So if you feel like you can touch it. So like, see how dry it is? Yeah. If you Because of that, if you just add a little bit of oil, it, it comes out to the most amazing texture. Um, Love it. Saute it, add it in salads, you can wrap it and stuff. It's a kale hugger. Stop harassing the kale, Dan. 
Go back to Bondi. Come on, come on. Are you making love to that, Kale? <laughs> Are you serious? What a weirdo. <laughs> Mate, if you want to eat dinner, I'd be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the black sapota fruit, which supposedly tastes like chocolate, which is going to be really nice. It's not very sweet. Is it inside? It's got, is, is it really sweet? Is it rich? No. It's really rich, but it's um, it's not bitter. Okay. It sort of tastes a little bit like custard up. Oh, yum. See, That's the fine. reason why we haven't tried it yet is because we've got to wait. <laughs> wait uh, to do it on camera. So you guys see the real reaction. So we want to eat it now. Boom. Mm. With this job is everyone just doesn't stop eating. Chris, what are you going to go for? I think I'm going for the mango or the oh, sapoti. The sapoti is tempting. Go? I want the mango with the choc, this one here. Go, do it. Okay, do it. They look amazing, look at that. Yum. This is worth traveling across Australia. Look at that. Wait till I bite into it. Mm. Are you cool? Look at that. Mango ice cream. Everyone's doing it. It just makes it all up. Hey, let's go and see Dan doing his thing. Come on, come with me. Honestly, as fresh as it gets. Alright. Here we go, that's another generous one. So, would you would you literally spend hours doing this every single day? Every morning. Okay, so this is our next location for filming. It's Dux uh, Tomato Plantation. Pretty cool. It's got like 200,000 tomatoes. They're awesome. I've always loved growing tomatoes. My old man has heaps of gardens in the backyard and I don't know, it's just something cool about the smell, the feel, the reward when they actually come out and go red. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's a little bit about me. Peace. Boys are off to the two-year-old Vietnamese birthday party. Woo!
Now I just gotta find a way to get it back to the club. Hey, g'day, good morning. How's it going, guys? I hope you're all well. Um, I've just been watching Ben Brown do his thing for his vlog. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn him off in the background. Um, to get some tips about how to do this, because I don't really know how to do it, but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It is day three in Carnarvon. We're just about to go and have some fun. So, yeah, check it out. Today we leave, put it in a freezer pack yep. that you'll give me and I'll make sure it's bags or whatever. Yeah, pack it Yeah. Just cooked up some amazing smoked mullet. I did. I did a lot of this. Look at that. As long as it's protected, what was he going to do? Do his smoked fish healthy hash. Nice. That's what we're going to do the cooking for this episode. And I'll talk to her about it. Fresh prawns, hey? Okay, cool. Can I just get this coming out? Some beautiful fresh prawns. Look at that. All the flavor comes from the house too, mate. Shock. Goes into ice, brine, full of flavor. Okay, Look, this is actually as fresh as they get, bro. Thank you. Alright, jump in, Quinny, I'll make you one. Where, Where should we eat them? Here? Not there. Outside? Out on the um, yeah. Go out the back. This is as fresh as it gets. Here, take them outside down in the sunlight. Shit's a good option. God, I love our job, dude. Alright, let's go. Let's go right here. Alright, mate, I'll make you one. Yeah, rip me one apart. Watch your shadows on my on my prawns, mate. There you go. What's your prawn feeling technique? You're a bit slow. I got one, got one all, all at once. There you go, like that. Wonderful. Have that. What do you think? Hmm. Ha. Ha. Sweet. Yeah. And they're soft too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so good, guys. Yum. Best way to eat prawns. Get someone else to peel them for you. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> oh, head, tail, legs and body. Oh! It's like, yeah, you get a really nice little sweetness. And then mm. the, the, the meats, the flesh is really tender. Mm. I don't take the poo shooter out, do you? No, nah, mate, not, not when I'm dishes my hands. If I'm at a restaurant, I will. <laughs> Sorry, mate, there you go. You can finish it off for me. Okay, bus. Doesn't get much better than that. Fresh just, prawns. Just mate. some fresh prawns, <laughs> some smoked fish on the water here. This is epic. This is Australia. This is the real, real deal. You, woo! Just don't complain about their seafood, okay? <laughs> Just one rule. There's one rule. Is that the first rule of high club? Let's do it. You need. Oh, all right. We're game on. Game on. We've got to do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's it. Righty. So we are doing a driving scene. Quinny's driving. Yeah, Do I have to jump in? All right, I'll jump. I'll jump in. I'll jump. jump. <laughs> I'm not gonna fit. No. Oh, jeez, I'm jumping. Definitely not gonna fit through there, Daniel. Good morning, mate. Good morning, no, team. I did one already. Oh, did, are you doing without me? You know. Individual ones. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Here we go. Here we go. We're off. We're driving. Rolling. Have fun, boys. All right, we're off to. See some Tom and friends. See, oh shit, I got something in my toe. Hang on. Oh, what is that? I'm um, alright. Off to, um, yeah, we're gonna have a umu, a Tongan umu, which is like, I don't know if anyone knows what a hungi is, it's sort of like that, but it's like ground baking. It's really cool. Not ground breaking, but ground baking. That's what I said. Oh, you said that? Just a little bit of heat coming out of that. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> There's a gecko on my foot.
him. No, mate. <laughs> Ticklish! Yeah, hey, kick out, kick out. So Dan and I have just had the all-time Tongan experience here in Carnarvon. We actually had an umu, we had some pig on a spit, we also had some Tongan dancing and some singing and the whole bit. It was an incredible experience. You guys are going to have to check it out, okay? Well, it's been a long day guys and it's been a really long video, but... <laughs> so it is, it's like, it's gonna be like 17 minutes long. Are you serious? So sorry about that, but it's been an amazing time in Carnarvon. A great way to finish off a long video with some colour. Check this bad boy out. Look at that. You. You know when you've got the colours of the rainbow on your plate, you know you're getting some serious clean goodness. So Hayden and I, we're gonna be right and ready for episode four. Peace out guys. Yeah. See you next time. Make sure you check out all the details of surfing the menu below. And comment. You can't swear. Oh my bad. And, <laughs> and comment and stuff. Yeah.